Maybe you're okay. Mate, this is beyond wrath. We're all here for you. Have you heard anything else from police? Only what we already know. He was called out to a domestic. And it got out of hand. And, um... One minute, we are looking forward to buying our dream house. And, and then we have a row. And he walked out. That's the last I saw of him. George knew how much you loved him. Did he? This is a shock. I can explain. How can this happen? Why, why did the coppers say that you were dead if, if you weren't? Because I told them to. He owed me one. So, so you did this on purpose? Why, 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 why would you do that? We had that row about Stee. And you ran off to who knows where and stayed out the whole night. I thought I was going to lose you. I had to remind you how strong we are together. Have you completely lost your mind? OK, calm down. Calm down? George, I've been going through hell the past 24 hours. I, I felt like my life was falling apart. And then you just you just waltz back in here, tell me it was a joke, and, and ask me to marry you. It's not a joke. Hear me out. How could you put me through this? Remember. New Year's Eve, when you thought I'd been killed. And when you found out I was OK, that was the first time you told me you loved me. Have you ever felt as connected to someone as you did in that moment? So this was just, just a test to prove my feelings. I get that you're upset, but this was the only way. You don't know what you've got until it's gone, right? I'm giving us another chance. We can be stronger than ever. This is too much. You just expect me to forgive you. We can forget all the distractions. M my intense job, exes sniffing around, your crazy family, and just focus on us two. My family are in bits, George. Teresa's organised your memorial. What are we supposed to say to them? Say there was a mix-up, mistaken identity. Don't worry about that, OK? It's about me and you. I'm never going to leave you again, John. Ever. This is not normal. We're not normal. This love, this bond is so much better than normal. Who wants a safe, cozy life anyway? I want passion and intensity. And I've only ever had that with you. Please, please, say yes. Hey, guys. Oh, love, how are you doing? Yeah, uh, I've got an announcement to make. Um, we've, we've got a surprise guest, but... Um, Sweet Mary, it's a miracle. George, what the actual... There has been a terrible misunderstanding. Another officer was wrongly identified at a crime scene. This should never have happened. Look, I don't understand. 
How did it get this far? We are trying to get to the bottom of it. I'm so sorry to put you all through this. But John Paul had a visit from one of your colleagues. What does it matter? Sally, there was a mistake, and, and George is back, and, and, furthermore, we're engaged. <laughs> Wow, a wake turned engagement party. I mean, that is unbelievable, even by McQueen's standards. I'm gonna say that again. So, let's toast to happy things, not sad things, and uh, plan a wedding. <laughs> this is a lot to take in. We need a proper explanation from the police. You must be in shock. No, no, I'm, I'm just excited. But getting engaged all of a sudden? It's very rushed. And Things haven't been easy with George lately. Yeah, because because people keep interfering, Sally. Okay, including you, all right? Can't you see this doesn't make sense? John Paul, I'm worried about you. But why? I mean, look at me. I, I, I'm fine. I'm, I'm engaged to the man that I love and and I'm happier than I've ever been, okay? So, so if you're not on board with that, then just get out of my life, okay? How's Teresa? Uh, upstairs, spewing a guts up. Too much toasting. Well, her party favours leave a lot to be desired. It's a wedding, not a hen party. Wedding? Are you two engaged? That's right. But this is a private celebration. Oh, that's quite a twist. I uh, thought there was trouble in paradise. Why don't we take these upstairs? Eh? We're fine here. I don't want to let petty jealousies from a pompous ex ruin this. Excuse me, I came in for an aperitif, not to be insulted by an insecure bully. You want to talk about insecurities, Nightingale? Like how you and your bit of rough can't handle being rejected by the man you never deserved. <laughs> and uh, you're what John Paul deserves, I suppose. Well, he's a lot happier with me than he ever was with either of you two, no hopers. Guys, can, can, can we just leave this now, please? Shame, really. You two having to settle for second prize because John Paul loves me. <laughs> you two really are pathetic. Is that right? Why then, after a blazing row with you, did he go crying to Steve, drunk and desperate for affection after the abhorrent way you treated him? Well, well, just leave you two to it. <laughs> Congratulations. Go back to Steve's. You lied to me. <laughs>